drinking seawater can be deadly. Human kidneys can only make urine that is less salty than seawater. To get rid of the excess salt, you have to urinate more water than you drink. Eventually, you will die from dehydration. In the last episode, I demonstrated how to make a simple still from trash that I found on the beach. This still produces about two cups of fresh drinking water per hour. In this episode, I will make a solar still on the beach, use a voltmeter to determine the relative salinity of potential drinking water, and search for safe drinking water hidden in seeps behind the sand dunes. One person's trash is another person's treasure. You don't know what hidden gems you will find until you start looking. To determine the relative salinity of potential drinking water, I will use a voltmeter. The battery produces 1.57 volts. Since seawater is a good conductor of electricity, it should also have a fair amount of voltage passing through it. This is the seawater. Let's see what it does. It is...
0.6 volts, about a half a volt. Distilled water is a very, very poor conductor of electricity. So let's see what distilled water does. This is commercially distilled water right here. And that has five point nine millivolts. That's only a small amount of voltage. Pure water is a very, very poor conductor. Let's look at drinking water. This is Aquafina bottled drinking water. It is advertised as pure water with perfect taste. Four point six millivolts. So this sample has about the same conductivity as commercially distilled water. Let's look at tap water. And uh, tap water varies depending on what tap you're taking it from. This is drinking water that I collected from the beach. It's from some spigots at the entrance to the beach and uh, people use it for showering and drinking. It, my guess is that it has more salts than the Aquafina brand drinking water. But I don't know. Uh, let's see how much electricity passes through it. One hundred forty six millivolts. So it is much saltier than Aquafina water. Not all tap water is the same. This tap water is from my house, and let's see how much electricity passes through it. one hundred twenty five millivolts so it's about the same but slightly less salty
I'm looking for a place behind the first dunes to dig a seep. It should be above sea level and the ground should be damp. This is where I made shelter two weeks ago. I wonder if this is fresh water. Let's test it. This is a sample of the water. The battery reads 1.57 volts. Let's see what it is through the water. zero point five eight volts. This is the same conductivity as seawater. Let's walk to higher ground. I'm looking for an area where the ground is damp. The vegetation may also be greener. Oh look, there is water in the tire rut. This water might work. I'll test it with my voltmeter. The battery is 1.57 volts. Let's see what it is in the water. 158 millivolts. This is good enough to drink. It's fresh water. The water is muddy, so I will filter out the debris with a cloth. I dug the seep deeper with a shovel. This will make it easier to collect water. Tastes like fresh water. It's good.
less than an eighth of a cup, a few tablespoons. Rush water, not bad, not very much. To master it, you have to get in the dirt and do it again and again and again. Keep practicing. This was a little too close to the ocean. It should have moved up about 10 feet or so. Next time I'll know better. It still works. It's not as high a production as some other means of obtaining fresh water. But in certain situations, this is the right approach. Practice, do things in different ways, but continually learn and have fun. This soup is awesome. It's made with seaweed and mushrooms and sesame seeds, and it sort of has an earthy flavor. Um, let's see if I can get some air. Look at that. You see the seaweed right there. And I've been on the beach with seaweed like this that I can harvest, but I haven't made a video about it. And I'll do that uh, the next time I'm here when there's, there's seaweed, I'm gonna make soup like this. It's so good. Mm. It has somewhat of an earthy flavor, and that may have something to do with the, the water that I used. Mm. It's really good. You should try it sometime. You'll like it. You may be wondering why I have aluminum foil at the bottom of the fire. This is to reflect heat. I can have more heat with a smaller amount of wood with a little piece of foil under it. It also makes cleanup easy. I just get the whole thing wet and then pull the aluminum out and put it in my trusty trash bag. Now look at this. It's beginning to get darker and it's so pretty out here. I can't wait for the sun to set.